At a time when nuclear weapons cost a trillion dollars over 10 years, it's not preposterous to think that, you know, people from the right and from the left can find common cause, whether it's for reducing government expenditures or eliminating nuclear weapons as an existential issue. It's no longer preposterous to conceive a world without nuclear weapons. We don't have the Cold War. We don't have nation states with missiles aimed at each other. In an era when there were 50,000 nuclear weapons, half coming from the Soviet Union and half from the US, I don't think anybody could have talked about zero nuclear weapons. We're on the cusp of an event, Iran getting a nuclear weapon, which would immediately create the desire on the part of four, five, seven countries to get nuclear weapons. You start someplace, and you have some amazing people here. They come here together and talk about a world without nuclear weapons. When they go home, they talk to people in their families and their communities. That's, that's a terrific moment for the, the stone, the ripples to cascade. Reykjavik uh, was a missed opportunity, but it, uh, it really began a process that uh, we can see that we have one-third as many nuclear weapons today as we did then. So whatever else we might have thought would come out of Reykjavik, uh, we're certainly two-thirds better off today than we were then.